is a quick walk around video of the Ultrac HD 20 HD. Uh, for all of our customers have been asking more about the features of the machine. This video is to give you a little bit of an idea of what, uh, what the machine is about and some of the unique features that it has. Uh, this machine is, of course, a fully hydrostatic, two-track, off-road track carrier. Uh, we see primary use for this machine in utility, uh, oil and gas, and exploration markets. Um, we're also starting to see a lot of use in wildland forest firefighting, uh, as well as forestry applications. Uh, it's a very durable machine. It's capable of a 3,500-pound payload capacity. It's powered by a 2.2-liter Perkins turbo diesel um, rated at 65 horsepower, which is more than adequate for this particular machine. Um, heavy duty lashing lugs on the back, uh, clean outs. There's uh, the chassis is completely sealed, so if you have any any leaks or anything in the machine uh, or for any kind of hose issue, all the contaminants will be actually collected inside the chassis to keep uh, environmental contamination to a minimum. Uh, it comes standard with the two-inch hitch receptacle there. Um, basically, any you know, trailer ball can fit in there. Um, this machine is also equipped with uh, auxiliary hydraulic power. Um, in this case, they're going to be using it to pull a forestry plow. The tracks on this particular machine is the our new Enviro track. As the EnviroTrack uses their standard rubber belting, which is rebuildable, which is nice, uh, easily repairable in the field, as well as with the rubber bar, you can drive it on hard surfaces such as highways and roads and sidewalks without doing any damage. Uh, it's also quite nice for driving in and out of your shop and onto trailers without uh, you know, obviously wrecking the uh, surface of those pieces. The cab here in the front of the machine is a two-passenger ROPS approved cab. It comes standard with the front bumper, brush guard, as well as uh, high intensity LED lighting. Large front windows. All the windows are flat plate glass, so if you break one, they're easy to replace as well as uh, economical to replace. The front of the cab is actually designed with a uh, 10 gauge thick floor pan. Um, that's in case you run into any obstacles, which would normally, you know, potentially dent the cab um, it's fairly resistant to that uh, the whole front of the machine is actually designed as a skid plate allow you to push on top of obstacles that would normally uh, stall other machines I don't know if you can see underneath the machine underneath it is completely flat uh, with the exception of the ribs there that give it the strength um, this allows you to glide over top of obstacles rather than getting hung up on them. Uh, when you do sink into soft terrain, you know, up to the belly pans, it actually acts as a toboggan and keeps the vehicle from sliding further into the uh, soft material. Um, allows you to traverse some, some very, very soft areas that would otherwise lock open channel or open frame machines in place. As you can see underneath, the suspension is all very rugged, um, solid rubber tires. Uh, very little to cause issues in the field. Um, it's all very resilient to the uh, rough conditions that you'll experience out there. Here's the engine compartment on the AT20. Uh, everything is all contained within this uh, compartment. Uh, all easy to access. All maintenance areas are easy to access. Here's a, that is the auxiliary hydraulic system equipped on this machine. Uh, in the front there's a tunnel for cooling. 
Um, this allows, uh, allows cold air to obviously enter the radiator without being obstructed. <clears throat> For other types of maintenance, this whole back lid actually lifts up. Makes things easy to get at. Once this is up, you do have complete access to the uh, to the whole engine bay. Um, any kind of service you need to do is quite easy to do. Filters are accessible, dipsticks, um, you know, injection pump, everything is there. This machine's also equipped with our new auto tensioning system. Uh, the purpose of the auto tensioning system is that when you have a load in the deck and it squats the suspension down, the, uh, the front adjuster will automatically adjust for that and keep maintain that ideal track tension. Uh, this helps to protect the obviously the drive components, um, but also keeps the tracks from detracking, uh, as well as uh, reduces the wear on the sprockets, tire guides, tires, and tracks by uh, reducing obviously over tensioning, which is one of the common or most common issues uh, with people in the field and, and doing field work. The cab is equipped with uh, large slider windows on the passenger side and well as the driver's side. Um, these are screened, nice in the summertime, give you some ventilation as well as keep the bugs out. Uh, it also has a large escape hatch on top. Um, this can also be equipped with a screen if you're wanting to keep the bugs out. We can also do this cab with uh, roof mounted AC if that was of interest to your organization as well. Uh, this machine is equipped with the single joystick, um, very comfortable to, to drive, uh, very intuitive. Anybody who's driven any kind of more modern skid steers would uh, already be familiar with this uh, type of operation. Uh, suspension seats, these are high quality or heavy duty suspension seats, can be set to the operator's weight, uh, makes spending long times in the machine you know, very comfortable. Uh, I'm six foot one. Um, it's pretty tough to see, obviously here, but uh, it's a very large cab, very comfortable for two passengers. Um, even wearing full, full work wear, full everything. Um, so we can turn this around here, so you can see. Yeah, you know, lots of room. You're definitely not squished in any way. Um, it's one of the more comfortable cabs probably out in the market, especially for compact equipment like this. All your controls are mounted up above your head here. Very easy to see, easy to reach. Um, and they're out of the way, you know. Got a good grab bar here. If you're in off-road off terrain, of course, it's pretty rough. Uh, you'll find they use this grab bar very often. Makes it comfortable for the passenger as well as you have something to hold on to. Uh, same suspension seat uh, for the passenger. Not a cheap, uh, you know, economy seat like you see in a lot of equipment. While holding the phone in my hand here, I'm just going to try to demonstrate how easy it actually is to drive this machine. Um, and obviously I'm one handed at the moment. I'm running at about 1600 RPM, you can easily navigate uh, you know, even very tight areas. Uh, very easy to steer. Anybody who has any kind of experience with you know, any kind of skid steer equipment, especially anyone with the modern single joystick type controls is gonna be very familiar with this. Um, so yeah, I'm navigating around our parking lot here with all of our uh, employees' cars in the parking lot. They'd be pretty upset if I hit any of them. And I'm um, say it is very, very simple to drive. Even very green operators seem to catch on to it very quickly. Uh, being hydrostatic, of course, you can uh, do complete counter steers and spin on your own axis as well. It makes operating in tight areas, tight wooded areas, or forested areas, you know, around other equipment, very easy. One thing you will notice with this cab, um, you have very good 360 degree visibility from the uh, driver and the passenger seat. Uh, you can see all the way around, um, very little areas you can't see, which is of course important when you're out working around uh, people and equipment. Um, also a completely unobstructed view to the rear of the machine. 
uh, helps with backing up. Um, a lot of equipment you don't have this anymore, which is uh, it's, it's obviously a nice feature to have. Uh, large mirrors. Uh, mirrors give you a perfect view of each corner of the machine. Um, never at any point do you find you have a blind spot. Um, even looking down, you know you can see just about right in front of the machine.